Well, investigators still have not figured out where or how a huge fire started at that condominium complex in Springfield Township over the weekend. And not knowing what happened is eating away at residents who lost everything. Fox Toledo News did some digging to find out more about Unit J at Hidden Cedars. Michelle Zapata is on the scene now with what she found out. Well, it's been a nightmare for the 10 families who were burned out of this unit. Now their temporary housing ends tomorrow at the Red Roof Inn. So while they're finding a new place to live, they asked me to investigate the person who owns several units here until just recently. Herbie Howard owns the American Petroleum gas stations in town. He is also a real estate developer and is known for his feud with Mayor Finkbeiner. Now it seems Howard is trying to defend himself again, this time not against the mayor of Toledo, his former tenants. They claim he was a slumlord. When we needed stuff fixed, it would just get put off and put off. And um, I know at least a week and a half, two weeks before, the smoke alarms in the hallways were beeping, like as in the battery was dying, and we told the maintenance about it. A couple residents did, and nothing happened about it. Howard owned 55 units here at Hidden Cedars. The Lucas County Treasurer lists those units under his company's name for Howard's Limited. Of those 55 units, 48 were foreclosed on just last week, days before the fire. Seven were located in Building J, the building that burned down. Fox Toledo did some more digging and discovered those 48 foreclosed units have been acquired by Equity Genoa Bank. Besides that money problem, it shows Howard owes back taxes on units he owned here. And I also found open court documents of other cases in Lucas County dealing with unpaid taxes owed by Howard and his company. Now, I did speak with Mr. Howard over the phone today. He declined an on-camera interview or to answer any of my questions. I'm on the scene in Springfield Township. Michelle Zapata, Fox Toledo News, first of four.